2020 bro this was actually supposed to be my year you know i was planning on doing a lot of traveling and going to places that i've never been before and just living my best life and now that's like completely ruined i was supposed to be in miami for my birthday turning up having a good time hey guys welcome back to my channel do my hands look orange probably <laughs> i self-tanned last night and when you're self-tanning just literally don't put any on your hands like whatever you have left on your mitt after you're done doing your whole body just rub whatever's left on the mitt on your hands because i did the tiniest like little dot like a drop of self-tanner and just put it all over my hands thinking it would be fine but for some reason it just ends up making your hands darker than your body and it's just weird anyways let's just ignore that i decided to just film a little get ready with me today i got nothing to do you got nothing to do let's get ready together for no reason actually i have to take an instagram photo after this so and i also have to film another video after this as well so that's what i'm getting ready for also my go-to makeup look i guess i'm updating that as well because just certain things have changed my go-to makeup look now does not involve eyeliner i used to do that a lot more before but now i just kind of like it gets tiring and kind of annoying after a while to keep doing eyeliner so all this shit's in the way <laughs> I've just been doing eyeshadow and lashes. I guess I might as well update you guys on my new go-to makeup look. So yeah, we're just gonna be chit-chatting, you know, hanging out, doing our makeup. Haven't done this in a while, I feel like. Also, I'm gonna have all the items that I use down below in the description box. Check them out, I'll link them all for you guys. I'm gonna put on the Glassy Skin Balm by Touch and Soul. I think I'm still using this. I still like 100% am in love with this. I mentioned this in a past get ready with me, I think. It just gives it that like dewy look, you know, when your skin's kind of struggling like mine is right now, all dry and everything. I'm like running out, so I need to get a new one like ASAP. And it smells so good. You see that? It looks like my skin is like, don't like to use this word, but moist. moist. So after that, I'm gonna go in with a primer. This is technically a primer, the Skin Balm, but it feels more like a moisturizer to me, kind of. So I like to go in with another primer. I'm using the Professional Hydrate Primer by Benefit. I understand why it's called Hydrate Primer. It feels very, like, moisturizing. It feels like I'm just applying, like, a moisturizer to my face, but at the same time, it mattens everything out. And then we're gonna do foundation. It's been a while since I used this shade because I've been pale as hell. I actually went outside and tanned in the sun like a couple days and then it decided to get cloudy and rainy again so this is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation the dewy smooth one in the shade 210 sandy beige anyway so how are you guys doing how's quarantine treating you to me you know I'm trying really fucking trying to stay sane and not lose my fucking mind even though sometimes I still like have days where I just feel really down it just sucks I'm so tired of it I know how it is I've seen your guys' DMs like you guys message me asking me how I'm feeling and like how I'm dealing with this whole thing You know a lot of you guys tell me that you struggle with depression and that this whole thing is just making it so much worse And I 100% agree with you. I think I have been it's hard trying to talk and blend this out at the same time I mean, I've been trying to keep myself busy. I think that's something that just like really helps because it's hard. I've just been focusing on, on things that I need to get done a lot more. YouTube, Instagram, myself as in like my health and making sure I'm eating enough and working out and all that stuff has really like been helping me. And I've just been like trying new things. You stay on top of everything. I feel like this whole thing brings like a whole new meaning to lonely. This shit is so lonely. <laughs> because you can't go out really and hang out with your friends like that. You can't really like go out and do things. I just gotta say I'm super thankful for my friends and just to have them throughout this whole thing because I seriously think that I would be 100% going insane if I didn't have any friends because that just helps so much just to have them to talk to every day FaceTiming each other and all that stuff I don't know it's been really helping me keep my mind off of things that I should not be thinking about a lot of people I feel like cut off their friends like if I would have stopped being friends with them while I was in a relationship I would have no friends right now that would be really freaking lame I feel like a lot of people tend to do that they get into a relationship and they like cut their friends off which I think is really freaking stupid I've never really agreed with that 
that I understand like when you're first talking to somebody and you get into a relationship spend so much time with them because you guys are just you know getting to know each other you're like all lovey-dovey with each other and everything maybe there won't be as much time for your friends but that doesn't mean like cut them off you know what I mean and I feel like that's kind of like an old-fashioned type of mindset like that's something that my mom that my mom thinks like they think that right when you get into a relationship it's like you can't be going out with your friends and shit like that my brushes are still like a tiny bit wet because I washed them all yesterday because I started breaking out a lot like around here and I didn't know what the hell the reason was and it's so stressful when your skin starts messing up and your routine is pretty much the same or you've added like multiple new things it's kind of hard to know what it is that's messing with your skin i decided to wash my brushes because i was like maybe that's it maybe they're dirty and it's just messing with my skin i don't know if that's it but they needed to be washed anyway so i had to do that i just can't wait for this whole thing to be over to be honest oh shit i haven't even been telling you guys what the hell i'm using okay so i use the instant age rewind eraser by Maybelline. It's in the shade 120 light. It's pretty light to be honest. I just don't have any concealers for when I'm tan because I haven't been tan in a while so I need to go get that. And then I used my airspun to just set everything and now I'm using the Hula bronzer and I really gotta go in with this because I want to make sure that it matches my body now that it's tan. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Right here. I got a little bit of like self tanner on there because I don't I don't like to tan my face with a self tanner because I feel like it gets patchy sometimes and then your face just looks messed up and it's just not it's not a good look. So I don't like tanning my face. I'm gonna use this shade, this contour shade from the Shade and Light palette. I've had this for so freaking long. I mean, you can tell. This one just completely broke off. That one I used like so much. Moving on to nose. I'm using the same Hula bronzer. Just really quickly with this brush. I'm not like doing a super like defined line or anything like that. I'm just going in kind of crazily. Kind of just to add like the shade, you know. Then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. This is an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna take this um, contouring shade and go over it and just be a little bit more defined. So I stopped having nightmares. It was just literally that week. I don't know why. Now I'm just having like really weird dreams where, where you're dreaming about something and there's like too much going on so you're, you you want to wake yourself up. So you wake up and then when you fall back asleep, you like get put back into the same dream. I also have those dreams where you, in your dream, like you're still dreaming, but you wake up in your dream and you think that you're actually awake but you're still dreaming it's like the weirdest fucking feeling ever i think that creeps me out more than like <laughs> any nightmare that i've had because you feel like you're actually awake like you feel like you're actually up and in the real world but you still have the feeling of like everything's a dream so it kind of feels like you're like trapped in the dream i don't know how to explain it it's weird because it feels like you just can't wake up usually i tend to know like when i'm dreaming i can usually tell or like feel you know what i mean blush i don't know i've been using this for a while i don't even know where i got it it's it says studio makeup it's in the shade wildflower i don't know <laughs> if this is even still a thing but this is just the one that i use all the time then i'm gonna take my the anastasia beverly hills and breezy highlighter this one i haven't used in a while because i tend to use this one only when i'm tan because it's like this gold shade i'm excited that i get to use it now I usually use the champagne pop highlighter. I feel like that looks good with like paler skin. This highlighter is like, it's not super pigmented. Like you don't put it on and automatically it's like blinding. You kind of have to like build it up if you want it to be blinding. But if you like that like subtle highlight, you know, that's how this one is. Like it's not crazy, but you look glowy. I'm gonna set it with the Mari Badescu facial spray. Moving on to eyebrows, you guys know I love the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This is like the only thing that I use for my brows. I do use the Brow Wiz sometimes, like if I'm going for like a more natural look, you know? So let me like fast forward to this part because it takes a while. I like do them really quick like this and then I go in with concealer to like carve them out and then I go over them again to darken them up and I don't like using a bunch of concealer because I feel like that looks so I'm not trying to come at anybody but it just looks weird when you clearly see like 
a huge line of concealer under your brow and it's not blended or nothing and it's just there go in again just mostly like literally the tail of the brow and i just like to like darken that up more oh my gosh i look like a freaking weirdo <laughs> damn i should have done like a story time or something comment down below if you guys want to see that like me getting ready and telling you guys a story i got some stories to tell some tea to let you in on this is a pretty quick look too like it doesn't take too long it's just like your base eyebrows quick eyeshadow and lashes i'm gonna use the norvina anastasia beverly hills palette i'm gonna take a fluffy brush and i'm gonna take incense whoa you can't even see though so this one right here it's like this like caramel shade all over my crease just kind of go all over the place this whole corn thing thing just makes me sad to think about because 2020 bro this was actually supposed to be my year i feel like everybody was planning that for this year everybody was like 2020 is gonna be my year you know i was planning on doing a lot of traveling and going to places that i've never been before and just living my best life and now that's like completely ruined right now at this exact time i would be in miami right now i'm not even playing like i was supposed to be in miami for my birthday turning up having a good time but instead i'm here in my house <laughs> anyways i'm gonna take violate no <laughs> not violate my bad volatile i'm gonna take volatile right here this like darker brown shade and this is gonna go more like in my outer crease so i'm taking it on a smaller brush also i just kind of darkened it up pretty much i'm gonna take that fluffy brush and just go over the whole Thing again just kind of like diffuse it a little bit more also throughout this whole time i've like realized how easy it is when you're like newly single kind of to just get to kind of get like attached to somebody because honestly like this this is exactly how it is okay you're in a relationship right for a long ass time and then go through breakup whatever you find somebody new a little too soon and i've actually like seen this with a lot of people that i no or not even no but like watch on youtube it's so easy to feel like you are meant to be in a relationship and you have to look for somebody else like quickly to be in a relationship with because that's the only thing you know so when you go from that to like being alone it's really really hard to like get used to it and it takes a long time and i feel like a lot of people are very impatient and they just you know the whoever starts talking to them you get attached it's so easy to like start depending on somebody because you're not content with like being alone and being single i just realized how easy it is to like start getting attached to somebody and it's definitely not the right thing to do i know i might feel like it's the right thing to do but it's definitely not and i see like people doing that and i'm just like oh my gosh no i'm sorry i'm just like in a ranting mood today or something i'm using the shade dreamer it's this like highlighting shade highlight my inner corner and under my brow bone and i definitely am not the type of person to have the freaking willpower to be like no you need to stop you shouldn't be in a relationship because it's really hard for me i'm just not good at being alone i don't think i ever have been i've even always said like if i ever lived by myself i think i would literally go crazy i need somebody at least one person that i'm like close to comfortable with like a friend or something always there with me i just don't do good when i'm by myself so that's something that i know that i struggle with so i really like it's really really hard but i i'm trying and that's all that matters i don't even know if you guys understand what i'm trying to say hopefully that made sense but i don't know if it did to be honest i don't know how else to explain it so i'm gonna just move on that is it that's the eyeshadow pretty much oh i forgot to do under my eyes i'm gonna take the incense color again and just put it under my eyeball right there okay next we're gonna do eye eyelashes can i talk they're out of the packaging because i already used them before i don't know the name or the style of these but most of my lashes are from bold face makeup check them out they have a lot a lot of styles of lashes and they're bomb i'm gonna put these on and i'll be back we're done lashes are on and i also finished my lips so i use the urban decay naked 2 lip liner this is literally like my go-to lip liner also the mac strip down lip liner and then i topped it with a lip gloss this one i think i got where did i get this from i either got it from bath and body works or victoria's secret i think i got this one from bath and body works I don't remember. It's just a regular lip gloss. It smells like mint. So this is pretty much my go-to look. It's pretty simple, I feel like. I don't know what else to say. I guess that's it. I need 
my nails done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Once again, all the items will be down below in the description box as well as my social media, Instagram and Snapchat will be down there. Follow me if you guys want to. So I'm ready now. Who's gonna take me on a date? I'm waiting. I feel like by this time, by this point in time of the video, there's only girls watching. If you're a guy and you're still watching to this point, round of applause to you. <laughs> I feel like it's only girls watching at this point. If you're still watching this, comment down below the dolphin emoji and I will put you on my Instagram story. I'll screenshot it and put you on my Instagram story because I appreciate you guys if you stayed this damn long, all right? Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video.